Okay, so the frequency polygon, you're going to have a point here and a point at the end of the box. Point at the very bottom of the first box and the very bottom of the last box. And then for each of these bars, you're going to find about the middle and put a dot on the top of it on about the middle. And then if you had a ruler, you would use a ruler, but if you didn't, that's okay. And you try to connect these dots with straight lines. shape is called a frequency polygon. Mm -hmm. True. So if you had that many children, it would be really hard. Seven leaf plot. It's the last one. Now, when you're listing these numbers, it would probably be helpful if you put them in order. So we have 27 and 29, 31, 32. Trying to cross them out a little bit better. 7. So we have both of them? Nope, I left out 28. What? No, I'm just writing them down in order. I would have you write them down in order. So just copy the ones that I'm writing. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. So 3, 3, 6, 3, 3, 8, 3, 3, 8. You don't have to list them in order, but when you actually do the stem and leaf plot, there has to be some order to it. So it might be easier if you listed them in order. You what? What did you say? I don't know why I have to take the sound here. 
Wendy's and get you a what? A sandwich. What the heck is that? A what? A sandwich. Do you, does anybody understand and I just don't spell it? It's a l a d. Salad. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Salad. Wendy's. Okay, that was a train, but I got you. All right. Okay, so I need a title. Data. I, I, it has no title with it, so I just put data. Uh, the leaves are the numbers that go on the left of this chart here. And the stems go on the right. I said that backwards. Stems go on the left, leaves go on the right. Um, the stems, well, strike that, the leaves can only be made up of one number for each number. So for example, for the number 27, two would be my stem, seven would be my leaf. So I have all three of these numbers that start off with a two, and they are seven, eight, and nine, because it's 27, 28, 29. So that way you don't have to write the two over and over again, but we know a two dash seven means 27. This is called the key. And every stem and leaf plot has to have one. Notice the 7, 8, and 9 do not have parentheses, not parentheses, commas in between them. I will count off for that. That has to look like this. Stem and then the leaves just written beside each other. I know that leaves are only made up of one number each, so I know that this represents three numbers, three different numbers, 27, 28, and 29. All right, so for three, I have these numbers. So I put one, two, and nine. For the 40s, I have these numbers. Even the repeats, I have to list. So I have a four, and then a three, a four, another four, a five, and a seven. Fives, a zero, a six, an eight, and a nine. Six, I have a zero, two, and an eight. Seven, a one, and a two. That's the stem and the leaf plot. And we're done. Once you get that written down, and we'll do the work that goes with it, obviously, on Monday. Yeah, I'd keep up with these notes so you can use them for the quiz.